Okay, we're booting up. I'm tapping F8, F8, F8. In the BIOS, I selected the RAID driver. So I have the RAID driver selected, and I turned off the legacy boot just so that we wouldn't see a bunch of crap. I think we could we could have legacy on, but uh, uh, you know the faults uh, UEFI on and legacy on. I turned off legacy. So uh, this top uh, this top CD-ROM drive. You notice how everything's prefaced with UEFI. If it's not. You're screwed. I mean, if it says anything but UEFI colon in the beginning and you boot from it, that means you're booting from your BIOS and you're not booting from uh, UEFI. So uh, you're not going to get anywhere. So I have uh, two uh, flash drives installed. The top one has uh, the Intel RST uh, drivers. Uh, and, and those are the RAID uh, SATA drivers. And all the rest of the, you know, the uh, drivers for the Intel chipset, uh, Series Seven chipset, and then uh, the bottom one is a specially made uh, USB Windows Seven uh, thing. I, I I had to do a bunch of crap, format this thing, make it active, do a bunch of bunch of stuff. Uh, you look on the internet, you'll see a million people tell you how to do it. And then I had to uh, copy over the the CD to this thing, and then take the the boot and then copy over a file and rename it uh, boot x64.efi and, and you've got all that stuff in there and it's real important that you have a 64-bit uh, CD when you do this. So only work with a 64-bit CD and I had a whole bunch of trouble because I had a CD that had a, that was a remaster that had the 32-bit and 64-bit and it just didn't work and had nothing but errors. But anyway, uh, 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 I'm going to boot from this, the CD now. Let me pause for a second because it will take us some time. Okay, we accept, click install now, set it to starting, uh, no collect, select ultimate, because that's the kind of guy I am, Set the license term, now we click on custom advanced, and uh, I kind of already, okay, let me, uh, and now we're going to press shift F10. Let me just show you here. Shift key F10 brings up a console. We type uh, in the console, we type D I S K P A R T. And now we're in disk part. So the first thing we do is we type list disk, L I S T D I S K. And we can see our disks. Uh, disk 0 is the 22 gigabyte uh, um, SSD. Disk one is uh, oh, that's my uh, flash drive. No, what the hell's going on? How, how come I anyway? Well, uh, this is pretty. Uh, boy, what, what's going on here? Uh, well. I'm trying to see what's going okay, on. Here. I was just going crazy here. Uh, I was expecting disk one to say uh, three terabyte, but it doesn't. But uh, uh, it's being reported wrong. Uh, this uh, uh, eight eight gigabyte flash drive, and here's a like a five gigabyte or me, you know five hundred megabyte flash drive. Those are my two flash drives. So let me just not get confused. So disk one is the one I want. So I'm going to cl click select. Select disk one. Now I'm going to type clean. We cleaned disk one, successfully cleaned. And now if I, uh, see this disk here. Well, it's still whatever. So I'm going to say, uh, I still don't know why it's reporting uh, 746 gigabyte. It's, it's not supposed to do that, but uh, let me type convert now. I'm going to type C-O-N-V-E-R-T space G-P-T. And we go and successfully converted to GPT format. Well, it really bothers me it says that, but I'm going to click exit. Exit. Click exit again. 
And let me click refresh. Hmm. Well, we'll deal with this later. I have a, a when I when I uh, originally installed this in the, was the AHCI mode, it would have it said the full uh, three terabytes. But now that I'm, I'm in RAID mode, it's not saying that. And I think it's something to do with the RAID things. Uh, uh, let me click on Advanced Drive Options. I'm going to click on New. Well, let me go any higher than that. Well, what a bunch of crap. Well, I'm, I'm going to, I think maybe we'll be able to fix this once we go into Windows. Anyway, uh, okay. So this is good. Uh, is what it did is it created uh, a, a system partition and then an MSR partition and then a primary. This is all uh, disk one. Uh, the three terabyte hard drive. So this is good, and I think if I install everything here in the primary, I'll be able to uh, use the disk manager once I'm in Windows to make it use uh, the full uh, three uh, terabytes. So I'm going to click next, and uh, we'll uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, hold on here. There's one important thing I forgot to show you. I guess I went through without doing this. I didn't install the driver, but uh, uh, when I've done other installs, I need the driver, and I think I'm going to need it for this uh, UEFI thing too. And it doesn't hurt anything, so just click on load, uh, uh, load driver. We'll click browse. I'm going to browse to my thumb drive, and you see where it says an IRST. That's Intel Rapid Storage, and that's the name of the Intel uh, uh, driver that does everything. It does a uh, uh, the uh, the SRT it does uh, takes care of all of your hard drives uh, everything it's uh, the master Intel program and you're gonna have to install that to get SRT going too that's a, this is the same thing but uh, here we'll go to driver to disk 64 bit click OK and then you can see it wants to install the Intel workstation server express chipset uh, RAID controller. And if we were in the AHCI mode, we'd have to do the same thing for the SATA AHCI mode uh, driver too. And these are this is a real important step, and I don't know how it got missed in my original video, but I'm I'm inserting this in. So uh, I just wanted to show you show you this because it's a a real important thing that you need to have. You you need to have you know the, the Intel RST drivers downloaded from the ASUS website. You really need to have it. So uh, anyway, uh, back to your regularly scheduled. Okay, we're up to our desktop. And I was really, really worried because when I went to do manage, it still showed 746 uh, uh, gigabytes for my C drive, and it didn't show any way to extend it. And I was really, really worried. So I installed uh, the the driver, the RST driver, the Tel RST driver. And let's uh, let's go, we'll go to all programs and Tel uh, Rapid Storage Technology, the RST the R RST driver. And uh, I, I installed the driver, and I clicked where it said Accelerate, and then I clicked uh, Enable. See, right now it says Disable, but I clicked Enable, and it set everything up here to where it created a, 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 a RAID 0 volume for, with 22 uh, gigabytes of, of cache, and, uh, and then it shows 2.7 terabyte here, although... Uh, it's still not 2.7 terabytes. So let me close this. This is looking good. The, the, the SRT is enabled right now. So now I'm going to right mouse click on computer, right mouse click and click manage. Now I'm going to take, go to storage, double click on storage. Then it says disk management. I'm going to double click on disk management. Now, oh boy, sigh of relief. Now my C drive, it's funny that the, that other drive isn't even shown up here. The the SSD is not even shown up here, but you can see the C drive, disk one, blah, 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 and it shows the, the 746, and then it shows uh, a bunch unallocated, so it show, so there. I'm going to right mouse click, I'm going to click extend, to bring the extend wizard, and yeah, I, I want to add all that. Finish. Whoa-ho! Whoa-ho! Success! 
success, success. This is what I've been fighting for for, for the last three days. Oh my gosh, I am so excited, just so excited. And, uh, well, well, this is awesome. This is awesome. And uh, this is kind of interesting. It shows a, a healthy EFI partition of 100 megabytes, an NTFS drive that's healthy with all 2.7 terabytes. And then, of course, I got a flash drive plugged in. Success. Okay, this is it. This is what I've been striving for. Uh, the SRT is enabled, uh, and I got um, the full 3 terabyte hard drive being used. After you enable SRT, this is what your uh, RAID configuration looks like. So when the computer first boots up, you see a quick little flash showing your hard drives, and it says Control-I, and I press Control-I very quickly to get in here. You don't have long. And you can kind of see it set up a RAID uh, ID 0, Volume 000, Cache. They call it RAID, RAID 0 Cache. And uh, um, it seems to, to show the the Intel SSD and then the normal uh, hard drive. You can kind of see they, they show that the SSD is like a cache disk. The SSD is like a cache disk and a 2.7 terabyte non-RAID disk. Kind of interesting, but you, it'd be nice if you get in there by hand and set this up, but you have to have it done in Windows using the, the SRT or the, the rapid storage technology the RST to do, do the SRT. Uh, man, oh man, uh, those acronyms, uh, those marketing guys are, are really something.